Hey everybody, this is a series of exercises that is really great for your elbows and shoulders and neck. And since we're spending a lot of time on devices these days, this is a nice one to get your arms and your shoulders just feeling really free, really easy. It's not going to feel like a strengthening exercise. It's going to be more of a mind-body exercise and some release and feel good in through the shoulder area. If you've got a couple of two pound, or sorry, one pound weights, you can use those. If you don't, no big deal, you don't have to. Uh, we're going to start with our forearms bent, our elbows at a 90 degree angle, and little cups in our hands like this, like we've got super, a little cup of something in our hands, and we're simply going to spill the contents of our hands down and up. We're really supinating and pronating our forearms. That's what we're doing, supinating and pronating. And if you look at your forearms, you'll see that this action is coming from the elbow. It's coming from the forearm. It's not happening at the wrist and it's not happening at the shoulder. Yeah, a couple more times. One more time. Let your hands rest down. Bring your hands in front of you again. And imagine there's a little orchestra playing in your living room or your kitchen or wherever you happen to be. It's a very small orchestra. They're not playing very loudly and you're just conducting them. And you're turning your palms down and up, down and up. As you do this, pay attention to those forearms and notice, can you keep the tension out of your shoulders? Keep the tension out of your shoulders. One hand crosses on top, and then the other hand crosses on top. Once more, that's it. And pause. If you'd like to grab your weights, grab your weights. And again, we have the elbows at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna to turn to face you here. And I'm going to internally rotate my arms and return to neutral. Notice, it's not a very big movement. It's not a very big movement. Maybe one crosses on top and then the other crosses on top. But the point here is it's not a big movement. It's not happening at my elbows. It's happening now at my shoulders. So my arm bones are spinning inward in my shoulder joints. Now let your shoulders be nice and wide. You can feel this hopefully around the shoulders, but again, easy neck, easy jaw. That's it. Good. Internal rotation of the arm bone. That's it. Put the weights down. Get your orchestra conducting arms up. We've got a few more sections have joined the orchestra. So we're making the movement a little bit bigger. Now we're pronating and supinating the arms, the forearms, but can you feel a little bit of that internal rotation of the shoulder as well as you conduct your orchestra? I'm being quite upright with my torso, not a lot of movement here, just the movement focus in the arms, shoulders. Elbows are easy. One more time, changing the top arm every time. I'm grabbing my weights again, coming back into this same elbow 90 degree placement, maybe a little more attention to the idea of drawing my shoulders back. Not pinching, just drawing them back. And now external rotation. So you've all done these exercises, I'm sure. We do them in class all the time. This time our focus is really on awareness. Where is this movement coming from? It's coming from the shoulder. Yeah, the first movement we did was coming from the forearm. The internal and external rotation now is coming from the shoulder. Maybe you don't feel at the shoulder, maybe you feel a little bit in the back of the shoulder and that's perfect, keep going. Couple more, external rotation. That's it, put those weights down again, put those weights down again, Few more sections have joined the orchestra and now our conducting is bigger internally, externally rotating the shoulders, supinating and pronating the forearms. 
but how's your neck and shoulder? How's your back? You want to feel those shoulders moving, those shoulder blades moving, but no tension in the neck, no tension in the upper shoulder region. That's it, good, good. Now let those ends soften down. You're gonna take them to your sides and turn your fingertips up to the ceiling and reach them up, point your fingertips and pull them down. Fingertips up, press them up, fingertips down, press down. Up and down, that's it. Feel how this movement comes from the back of the body. Yeah, so now the movement's getting bigger, again, more lifting, but, and the shoulder blades are definitely lifting, but there's freedom in through that neck, ease through the arms. Two more times, up and down, up and down, and rest. Give your hands a little shake, 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 shake. Big expanse and just hug, 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 hug. Give yourself a big hug with those nice, agile, able arms. And have yourself a great day. Thanks for joining me.